I'm going to introduce you to has spent a record 302 weeks at number one and counts a record 17 Grand Slam titles to his name. He also holds a record six Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. He's here from Switzerland. Please welcome Roger Federer. Well, the crowd reaction says they're all so popular worldwide. Roger Federer is just an iconic figure. Still playing some incredible tennis. Pushed Rafa Nadal to the limit last week in Cincinnati. You can just see how popular he is with all the former world number ones on stage. Next up, he clinched the year-end top spot in 2008 and 2010. He counts a record 26 career ATP World Tour Masters 1000 trophies to his name, along with two Wimbledons, a U.S. Open, an Australian Open, and an incredible eight French Open titles. Here from Spain, please welcome Rafael Nadal. Coming on the, now got goosebumps on goosebumps. What's amazing is that man is still adding to those accolades. Back-to-back -back Masters 1000 wins in Montreal, Cincinnati. He is the man to be the next two weeks. Flushing mouths. Reigning world number one and a holder of six Grand Slam titles. He has held the top spot for 95 weeks overall. The 2011 and 2012 year-end ATP World Tour number one from Serbia. Please welcome Novak Djokovic. The current world number one and just sort of sums it up where the tennis is heading that it, such a small country like Serbia can produce such an extraordinary tennis player. I would also like to take this moment to recognize